Hey guys, here I am at 105 River Bluff. Um, when I was first driving in here, I was like, uh-uh, they do not want to live on this side of town. I don't think this is a good location for them, but then this actual neighborhood happens to be gated. So that it makes me feel a little bit better. And it let me continue on to take this video. You can see that the fence lines here need to be painted badly. Um, and the houses are close together, but they don't look cookie cutter. They look like little doll houses, really. Um, so you would come up. Not sure if you have parking in the back. It's possible, and we'll find out. But, um... Yeah, there is parking, but I don't think you have your actual, your own garage. My car is parked kind of right in front of the house. All right, so walking in, you've got your living room to the left, your steps this direction, coat closet here. This living room is a sunken living room, so it has a step down. It's got tall ceilings. And a granite fireplace. Looks like whoever lived here before used candles and incense in the fireplace. Guess this might be the dining room right here. Is it cute upstairs? Yeah. Um, we'll go around this way to get to the kitchen. Here's a half. Oh, it's actually a full bath, not just a half bath. Under the step storage, and there's the water heater. All of this flooring looks new. And all the paint looks new. I love the color in here. And I like that bookshelf. So, I don't know, maybe this is an office or a second living room. I guess you could use it as your dining room as well. Um, and then I'm not sure what you would use that space for. Here's your laundry with access out back. So out back you just have a little storage shed that matches the house and then you do have a private parking spot here so that's good to know. Neighboring house just so you can kind of see how close. Okay. Brand new appliances. Granite. Big sink. So yeah, maybe you could make this like a second living room or an office since you do have that other room back there that could be used as a dining room as well. Okay. From the steps, it's an open staircase. And you can go that direction. There's a door in front of you, or you can go left so, to one of the bedrooms. This must be the master, maybe. Nope, it's Jack and Jill. So this bedroom doesn't have a walk-in closet, but it 
is Jack and Jill bathroom. It has its own uh, shower, sink, and toilet combo, and then it connects to another sink, shower, and tub, and toilet combo for this bedroom. got two closets here they're not walk-in and then it will take you into this next bedroom and so I'm confused is this only two bedrooms So upstairs you only have two bedrooms and both of them connect with the bathrooms. It's a little bit different floor plan. Um, Alright, I'm going to get this video loaded and sent over to you.